What's up everybody, Gaming Gargoyle here, and welcome back to another, well, to a new episode, new series, The Hunter, Call of the Wild. So just give you guys a bit of a heads up here, I'll be doing this about twice a week, one uh, single player video on uh, Sundays, and another uh, live stream video type thing going up on Fridays. Um, played this the other day with my buddies and just had such a blast i gotta bring it to you guys just to show you how beautiful this game is and that so as always there's more information links and goodies down in the description below i got my controller out so let's go over here let's go a new game starting the game will delete all your previous progress yeah let's do this i'm okay with that uh, i'll be a male sure um Not too bad. He's got a bit of a reddish tan to him. It's kind of like me. Uh, let's see here. Do they have, I guess, that Hirschfelden hunting reserve? Located in the heart of Europe, Hirschfelden is a large hunting reserve with a predominant mix of deciduous beach and aspen forest surrounding rolling hills and farmlands. The western parts of the reserve contain more challenging hunting grounds along mountain slopes and deep spruce forests. Hirschfeld Hunting Reserve is home to fallow deer, the wild boar, the roe deer, European bison, the red deer, and the red fox. Okay, so let's do this, guys. Well, now. That, my friends. Hi, I heard you finally pretty. arrived. Welcome to Central Europe. That I'm is Connie, the Wild gorgeous. Hirschfelden, reserve warden, that is. I'm here to make sure that your time here will be unforgettable. Here's that is crazy. Is Just beautiful. Reserves in Europe, and we host a diverse population of the most popular big game for all hunting tastes. It's also the most beautiful place on earth. No, I'm not biased at all. No. There we go. We got some beautiful pictures here before we got any anything come up. Okay, so new mission: the first steps. Go ahead Crack down and harvest your first I can't wait for animal. You to experience all the beauty of Hirschfelden's fields and forests. Okay. Why don't you see if you can find an animal track nearby? Alright. There we go. Use G to toggle auto move. Okay. Hunter mate is used as a mini map. You can also show your currently active mission. Press left button to bring up the hunter meat. Okay. Back down and harvest your first animal. Accept. Read more or cancel. Uh, let's read more. Locate a track. Shoot an animal. Harvest an animal. Alright, so right down here, Cornelia Connor Holzner. Holzer says, welcome to Central Europe. Track down and harvest your first animal. So. Okay. I'm clicking on track mission. Alright, let's go... Backspace? Back? Okay. You can find information on animals, reserve locations, characters in the codex. You can also view your hunting statistics and review tutorials. Enter the codex with F1. Okay. A nice mission items, tutorial log, wildlife. Oh, okay, everything's here. Animal calls. Oh, it's all in here. Alright, so if you guys ever need any information, it's all in there. So we want to go back. All right, so apparently that's how you you change. Tracking a mission will display the current objectives on your hunter mate and highlight any known mission areas. You can view all currently acquired missions in your mission log. Okay. Now I want to watch my sound. See there, that's too much noise. There we go. Oh, there we go. Here's my first animal right there. Uh. There. Use your binoculars to get a closer look. All right. Use X when spotting. Use X when looking through binoculars spotted animals. There we go. Now, so then we press this. This. Uh, don't worry about all that. I want this. And I want to change this all the way down. And. Be sure to aim for its vital organs. 
Heart and lung shots mean quicker kills, less painful. Gently now. Take a deep breath to steady your aim. Press left three when in aim mode to what? Oh, you can hold your breath. Oh, very nice. I did not know that. That is excellent. I see. All right. So we can put this away. And we want actually we want the hunter mate out, right? We don't need to worry about alerting other animals or anything at the moment. Let's just go down here. Pick up our gimme. Um careful. The underbrush can be a bit noisy this time of year. That's fine. I'm not after any other animals at this moment. So, we're good. But thank you, lady. There it is. Your first Hirschfelden trophy. Hirschfelden. Go ahead and harvest it. I will. Oh, it's kind of a bit gory. Flesh, right long, 100% shot. Gender, female, 15, 14 kilos. Type, common. 333 with 479 cash. All right. Rifle score award, plus 34. If you want to get your bearings, there are lookout Ooh, points spread out cash all reward. over the reserve. Are we done? Okay. We shall accept. Tracks can reveal useful information about an animal, such as what species they are, whether they are calm or fleeing, and what in direction they were heading. Escape to read more. Oh, okay, right. Uh, lookout point tutorial. Enter to accept. Yes. Okay, so we're going to go up there and visit the lookout point. Don't want to make too much noise just in case I see another animal. Running in the reserve is great. Just know that the animals will hear you running before you even come close. Thank you. Stay low when you're stalking an animal to avoid being seen. Okay, use B to crouch, B to go prone, and A to stand up. Switch weapons and equipment with the number keys or mouse scroll. You can even click or attach to detach a scope if available. I say to jump, jumping can cause increased noise and visibility. Okay. Don't want to do that. We want to be very, very quiet. But we did put some hunting pressure on in this area, which is here. If we look at the at the map, that purple area it means we have hunting pressure on the animals. This is small things that I learned while I was playing with the boys the other night. I already did that, but thanks. There we go. Don't know if there's going to be another animal that we're supposed to take out right away or not, so I'm trying not to make too much noise. Not hearing anything for animal noises, so like no calls or anything, so I think we'll be alright. I'm making a lot of noise. Hold on. You know what the heck with that? We're going up to the lookout. So if you want to run, you just uh, click the left stick with the, the controller. I like how there's that little campground right here. Nice little picnic area. The boys brought me up here and showed me how to use the, uh, how to open up these lookouts and things, so. Now, if you run too much, you'll, uh, you'll see your health here on the green, or the green health meter underneath the how much ammo we have, the 4 out of 20. The little plus sign in that green bar, that's actually your health. And you'll notice if I run too much, my heart will start pumping faster and faster and faster till it gets red, you keep on running, and you'll slowly start taking damage. Visiting a lookout point will reveal points of interest and information on the surrounding area. Why, thank you. I 
haven't heard any animals warning or anything else. So, so I haven't been making too much noise. Or there just aren't any around. Somebody made noise. I think that was a wolf. But I'm going up here anyway. Or not a wolf, sorry, a fox. Red fox. Or it could have been just a bird cow. I don't know. I didn't see it. Couldn't track it. Alright. Here we go. Oshis Spunkt. Quite a view, isn't it? From here, you can see a lot of great hunting opportunities in the nearby area. Rattenfeld is a favorite region for a lot of hunters. The fallow deer is such a classic animal to hunt. But we also get a lot of history buffs here. To the south lies the Hirschdorf Hügelgrab, a grave mound dating back to the Bronze Age. Be sure to stop by one of the outposts. They're essentially base camps. Okay. So... Apparently, I don't know why, but when you're using the controller, it says A to place a waypoint. It doesn't work. You have to pull out the mouse, click it, place the waypoint. So, just to give you a heads up. So we started here, now we're coming up here, now we have no hunting pressure. So we might be able to get another animal on our way up to here for today. So let's just uh, get going. Follow the path, there's that, there's the cabin there, and then where is our, right there is our um, lookout point that we're going to go to. So let's go ahead, get ourselves all the way down, and then start being really quiet. want to get there. At the same time, we don't want to make too much noise just in case we catch something. to make sure we bring home a couple of items so when we get down there we have some money and maybe upgrade something like maybe a backpack or something so maybe buy some ammo listen did you hear that calls are really helpful when locating an animal See those birds keep flying out? They drive me nuts. Alright, so throughout this, guys, uh, I will be uh, doing a little bit of time lapses, so I'll be back with you guys as soon as I spot an animal. Okay, we are back. We're going to inspect this, and it is the Rathenfelt Poem. 
Waken, lords and ladies gay, the mist has left the morning gray. Springlets in the dawn are steaming. Diamonds on the break are gleaming, and foresters have been have busy been to track the buck in thicket green. Now we come to chant our lay, Waken, lords and ladies gay, by Sir Walter Scott. Cool. Lauren locked. Added entry into the codex. Okay, so we've already inspected it. We've got a 100 XP reward. Just take a moment here, take a look, see if we can spot any animals. Nothing at all. No, it doesn't look like we got anything all the way down to that cabin area, so... Alright guys, we'll just speed us up to the cabin. One moment. Well, it doesn't look like at this point that uh, we're going to have any more. I thought we might get another gimme animal on our way to this outpost here. But, uh, yeah, you never shoot towards buildings, guys. Never do that. So we're going to try to keep this a little bit, you know, towards comes, you know. Discovering each region's outposts, outposts allows you to fast travel there. Yes, it does. It is a beautiful, wonderful thing. At outposts, you can buy new equipment, take on challenges, and rest, which is fantastic. All right, come on. Let's get there. Uh, let's just run it. There's not going to be anything around this area anyway for us at this moment, I think. I think we're all set up for this portion here. All right, so let's put the claim down. Outpost unlocked. Cozy, right? Outposts are great for stocking up or just taking a break. Nice. Jaeger, a picture for her book. All right. Go to our next P. Whoa, whoa. Is that something glimmering back there? What's that? And you don't need to walk with your rifle out all the time when you're around a building either. You know, you're oh, not a threat. I remember finding a big deer antler for the first time as a kid. It felt like I had dug up some real treasure. I still have it at home. Nice. Oh, okay. A shed. Hi there. I've got a bit of an unusual question. I hope you don't mind. I'm married. I think I mentioned Gerlinda, right? I'm married. Well, here's the thing. She's writing a book about fallow deer. Her second one, actually. She's got a small obsession for fallow deer. If you want a neat challenge to pass the time when not hunting, many of the animals are shedding their antlers this time of year. They're still tricky to find, of course, but I guess that's why people like to collect them. Okay. Anyhow, she's missing some pictures for her book and was looking for someone to help out. It's a bit specific. I remember hearing that you're quite the photographer yourself, so I thought I'd pass along her offer. She's looking for a picture of a fallow deer taken in Rottenfeld. She'll pay quite Rottenfeld. well for it, so it may be worth the effort. If you were looking okay. to help out Gerlinda with that picture, you're in the right place. Okay, you're just in Rottenfeld. Alright, so I probably gotta get to it. Up here, maybe? Yeah, there we go. Alright. Excellent. Gerlinda is lovely, but here's a friendly tip. Don't ask her about fallow deer <laughs> unless you mean it. She will not stop. It's beyond obsession at this point. On the other hand, there's no one better for hunting tips when it comes to fallows. Oh, and her venison stew is out of this world. Makes me hungry just thinking about it. Sure. Okay. There we go. 
I've taken the photos. Oh, and they're just like pressing a screenshot. All right, got it. Cool. All right. I'm going to exit with X. Yeah. No. Oh, cool. I can zoom in. Ah, neat. Oh, no, 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 out. Uh, next race. Okay. Don't want camera no more. Left button. Ha. <laughs> there we go. What time is it? Ah, so that's a quick select button. Okay. I would like to set my right button to be straight up a uh, rifle. Let's see, what's Y? Okay, Y is reload. Okay, now let's go to our inventory. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, bleak color. What's a bleak color? Bleat of a doe, simply using irresistible. So it works for white tail, black tail. Got it. The row collar obviously does row. Okay, so that one's row. And then we have a musk deer scent. Must steer both genders and since last long than calls is a great choice when lure hunting. The effective range depends on current wind conditions with high winds leading to a narrow and long scent cone while low winds create a wide scent cone. Okay, so this is a, a lure, gotcha. And deer bleat collar. We won't worry about, but the row deer collar. Okay, we will need those. Um, ammo, sights, lures. Alright, binoculars. I think this is supposed to be... This is lures and this is lures? Oh, okay, yes. Yeah, sound lures, uh, body lures. Oh, it says we have one skill point available. So, stalker. Skill points, 013. What's this? Locate tracks. The directional tracking cone becomes more accurate and are both in the world and on the map. Level 2 increases the distance at which tracks are visible and highlighted. Level 3, the directional tracking cone is now even narrower. Hmm, decreased visibility, health, weather prediction. Oh, I like this one. Reduces noise generated. Oh, very nice. Wow, these are these are pretty cool. Interesting hurry slower when moving faster. Okay. Feels a new track type. Okay. Unlocks the ability to detect the wind general speed. Uh, I'm not sure how that's going to help. Stop animals in their tracks for a short time and make an unexpected noise. Oh, cool. Now, what's this ambush? Oh, there's more. A scent tinkerer. Not satisfied with the performance of the scent lures in the store? Become a true scent alchemist. Level 1. Increase the number of uses per caster for all scent lures purchased. Number two, increase the duration of all scent lures. And three, increase the range of all scent lures. Four, increase the attraction chance of all scent lures. Oh. Spotting knowledge. I mean, uh, health, trophy waiting. Oh, wow, there's a lot to do here. Well, I think... Uh, I need to get this one here for the quiet because I'm not a very quiet person so I think we'll go here we'll buy one and it opens up these perfect okay one of 13 skill points is all I'm allowed Ooh. hmm okay whatever perks Muscle memory. Unlocks the ability to ready your next shot without leaving A mode. Okay. Breath control. Oh, it holds your breath longer. Okay. Steady hands. Decreased wobble. Oh, wow. I, I want some of these. Unlock the ability to switch between different zone distances. Zero distances. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Increases zoom while using rifles with their iron red dot and holographic sights. Okay. System. System. Oh. Alright. That's all that. Now what other missions do we have now? We can take a picture of the fallow deal in Rathenfelt. Okay. 
that's all we have for now or okay well let's go see what let's see what we can upgrade for like weapons and ammo and things like that we'll make this more of a an about episode to start off here access okay so what's the backpack Portable structures. These are blinds and tents. Okay. Ultimate in endurance, portable camouflage, concealment, and weather protection. Once deployed, provides excellent visibility, concealment, and unrestricted shooting angles in almost every direction. Notable features include the ability to be deployed almost anywhere, decreased visibility, and room for up to two hunters within. Okay. Uh, what about the tents? Uh, I'll probably go with the green one here. Two-man tent, suitable for all weather conditions. The patent high-tech Mosquito Wall 2.0, tested under severe conditions in northern Scandinavia, has proven to decrease user blood loss by almost 5% compared to its previous generation. This award-winning product also includes a large storage container that will turn into your mobile home or turn your mobile home into a fully functional outpost. Notable features include the ability to deploy almost anywhere, serving as fast travel, revival, and resting area. Camping fees apply, and store and storage access. Ah, you still have to camp for a price every night. Okay, that's not what I'm looking for. See our character, backpack size. What do you mean? I have a backpack. Uh, binoculars, ATVs, ground blinds, tents, fence lures, what? ATVs? I already own one. Oh, I better not pull this one out, otherwise things are going to go bad. Things will go bad fast. Have an equipment. Oh. All of outfit. Oh, I can change the colors of my outfits here. Well, some of them for free. Okay, so yeah, we still ha I still have to buy a backpack, okay. And we have $3,479. Okay. Well, first things first. Let's see. Rifles-wise, we have a Ranger 243. 7mm Regent Magnum Range Master 33.8 Oh, that would be nice to have right here But that's going to take a while uh, What about bows? See, now this is more like it We can get a little bit cheaper here Suitable for small and medium sized game Oof, accuracy is no good on this one Okay. Um, rifle ammo. So we can get these ones for free. Buy. 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 Am I buying any? Uh, I'm not sure. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, 5 of 59. Okay. I don't think we're going to go over that, so we're good. So now we know that there is no... Um, no noise to say that, yes, you have gotten that through. So, about 3 grand. But we need to have a higher rifle score in order to get them. So we'll probably end up getting the... Locked. Okay, 34 of 150. Oh, boy, oh, boy. This is how you get more proficient with the rifle, I guess. Eliminate iron sights with tritidium. Tritium? Tritium? To make a target acquisition breeze under any lightning conditions. Fitted for the Ranger 243, and if I remember right, that is the one that we own right now, the 243. Okay. 
so this is pretty cool. I can't buy it or anything, so I don't know if I own it or not, but whatever. So what time of day is it? 11.34 in the afternoon? Yep. I heard something out there. Don't know what it was, but there's something out there. If you ever need to rest, there's a cabin in each outpost. I just had them refurbished last season. Thank you. Alright, so we're just going to see if we can hear that call again. Actually, let's go to the map. Wrong button. And we're going to remove this waypoint. There we go. Oh, hold on. Let's take a look. Are we in Rathenfeld? Okay, so we have to take a picture of what again? The mission log, a picture for a book. She wants to follow deer. Okay, so. If we get out of here. Go to here. Maybe not. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Is that our mission? Oh, that's our tracked animal. Oh, okay. Um. Okay. Daddy needs a new pair of shorts. I'm gonna hear it, see if I can get a warning call. You're not going to talk anymore, lady? No more talking? Alright, guys. We're just going to go out here, take a look around. If we see anything, we'll shoot it. If not, I'll set up a blind and I'll meet you guys there. Oh, hold on. What's up? Got it. Alright, look at that. Too bad it wasn't stopped. I don't know what type of animal it was. I can't see the... I'm pretty sure I tracked it. At least I think I did. Ninety percent sure I tracked it. There is rain. Oh boy. Boy, that's loud. Or spotted it. That's the word I'm looking for. I'm pretty sure I spotted it. Don't know where it went. Need to find its tracks. At least it stopped raining. Gosh, this is real gorgeous, guys. Alright, guys. I'm going to go ahead here. And I think I'm just going to end the episode. We've gone on long enough for the very first one. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Greatly appreciate you being here. Hope you've had a good, relaxing time. Hope you've been able to unwind. Hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Which will be the live stream. See you then.